All right, hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji, and today I'm joined by Aerosol TCG, and we are going over how to play the Machina Infinitrack train deck you may have seen in the Sir Eminon uh, Discord tournament and some other events as well. I think it you topped the MBT, what does he call them now? Chalice Lime tournament? Yes, I got uh, top eight. All right, fantastic. Uh, so if you have seen this deck before, you should go to Aerosol TCG's YouTube channel where you have a one-card combo video, and I think there's new stuff coming out as well. Alright, if you're new to the How to Play series, someone brings on their deck list and I play out a few games over YGO Pro. They tell me what to do and I ask questions about the plays we're making and why, and hopefully that'll answer the questions you, the audience, might have as well. If we don't cover something that you have any interest in or have any questions about, make sure you leave those in the comments below. Alright, so we're going to do a quick card by card, and then we're going to get into a few matches. If you haven't seen the one card combo video, or the general idea of how the deck plays, again, go to Aerosol TCG. So a quick rundown of the, uh, the card by card. We have three copies of Machina Metal Cruncher, three copies of Infinitrack Harvester, three copies of Heavy Forward, three copies of Machina Redeployment, three copies of Infinitrack Brutal Dozer, two copies of Infinitrack Trencher, one Infinitrack Tunneler, one Super Express Bullet Train, one Ancient Gear Box, one Infinitrack Anchor Drill, one Machina Fortress, one Citadel, one Heavy Freight Train Derecrane, one Machina Overdrive, and then technically everything following that point is a is optional. You can change and yeah, build the deck in whatever way you want in order to play in the scenarios in which you're playing. And so you might play it differently for an LCS or a YCS versus how you would play it at your local tournament. So all of these cards are technically tech cards. Uh, one Called by the Grave, two Trap Trick, uh, two Torrential Tribute, the other two copies of Machina Overdrive, two Urgent Schedule, Triple Nibiru, and Triple Ash Blossom. In the extra deck, we're playing one Divine Arsenal, I'm not going to read this full name, Zeus, uh, one Libe, one Super Dora, one Gustav Max, one Earth Slicer, one Calamities, one Enthorblathnir, one Dingirsu, one River Stormer, one Girgigan X, one double-headed anger knuckle, one ancient gear ballista, and three copies of Infinitrack Goliath. In the side deck, we're playing three Forbidden Droplet, three Skullmeister, one Ally of Justice Cycle Reader, three Droll and Lockbird, one Urgent Schedule, one Harpy's Feather Duster, and three Twin Twisters. Um, before we get into the games, uh, do you want to address any of the particulars about the deck before we get started? Yeah, so basically the deck, like a lot of people playing the deck say it's it feels kind of like salad in a way because the game plan is turn one, you you basically just want to get your engine going, you want to get a bunch of pluses, draw a bunch of cards, and then from that point onwards you try to um, simplify the game state. Um, you can do this with in-engine cards like Machina Citadel or with um, Super Dora, or you're just going to use your um, trap cards and hand traps. And once you reach like a simplified game state this deck thrives like um, because all the cards just keep replacing themselves and keep coming back and um, yeah and often in, like just by turn three you have gathered enough uh, resources to OTK the opponent so in your second turn basically all right so pretty much you and, start um, the yeah. game with one of these 12 starters you do a combo that leads you to uh, drawing two cards establishing a resource loop and arranging yourself to OTK your opponent on the following turn if possible, or at the very least, them running low on cards and you increasing in cards. Exactly, and usually the two card combos are the ones that get you to actual uh, disruption. And then um, also, like, the utility slots right now, I really like the Trap Trick package uh, for, um, like, regional events, local events, grinding on the DB ladder or for the Edo Pro meta. But probably if you want to take this deck, like, to like a highest level of a competitive, like like a LCS um, type of event, then you sh should probably like main deck more hand traps like Gamma or maybe draw for this format or something like that. Yeah, that, and then we also, we still got plan B, like <laughs> plan B is VFD, um, but you shouldn't rely on that too much because hopefully in, in a month it, it's, it gets the X. Yeah, hopefully. You did show me a replay of a one-card Calamities combo, which I don't believe was in the one-card video, right? Yeah, no. Uh, it's probably going to be like uh, the the video after the next where I'm um, going to talk about that combo, but um, I don't know. Maybe VFD is not going to stay that long, so I was thinking maybe 
I don't know if I want if I need to do that. Well, if the scenario like presents itself in our matches, maybe we'll just do the combo. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I mean, the combo is still viable afterwards. You can just go for Phantom Fortress and rip a card. Just that, like, ripping a card is a lot less uh, valuable than actually getting VFD. Well, depending on what they're playing, it might be more valuable. Gotta grab yeah, that uh, fifth Exodia piece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah trap decks. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll get into a few matches, and if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. All right, so we are waiting on TCG EU competitive, which means yeah. our opponents, of course, will be playing casual decks trying to play against competitive decks, and we won't get anything yeah. out of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a good start. Okay. Um, yeah, we have to start with heavy forward, and we hope we don't get ashed here, because this would basically mean the end of our turn. Nope, we are good. We want to add the um, the level 4, yes, Anchor Drill. So, we already have Dozer in hand, this means we didn't need to search Harvester, which would usually get us to Dozer, so now we can just normal summon the level 4, use its effect, and special summon Dozer from hand. And if they negate Anchor Drill, we can just summon Dozer anyway, right? Exactly, that's why we search... Um, that's why we search Anchor Drill, and also if they Ash, Ash the Dozer at this point, we can just make VFD instead with the level modulation effect. So, apparently they have something. Ooh, they have a Gamma, that's, um, that's good. Well, we have to let that resolve, right? Otherwise, they'll just be gamma. Yeah, we again. have to let that. We could have. Yeah, it's not worth ashing it at this point because he can just negate the level modulation effect anyway. So. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. We can still, like, turn the um, anchor drill into uh, a Goliath. We just do that. So, so um, once we get to Tunneler, we already have, like, enough Earth Machines in the grave. And then we can set the trap, and we still have. <laughs> Three disruptions, I guess. So that's about it. All right. So just in case anyone's unclear, the ultimate goal is to fill up the graveyard with an amazingly large amount of. Uh -oh. Okay. That could be a problem. Um. um the goal is yeah, to fill that's the. Yeah, really difficult. Thing. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good matchup. Uh, so the yeah, goal... a lot of times I play the Tikaboo, I think. Okay, in end phase, uh, we want to use overdrive. And special summon Metal Cruncher from the deck. Um, I would choose Cruncher here just to get back into our engine. Okay. I'm not super familiar with the with the deck, but I think he can search a trap card here, but I'm not sure. Um, so we want to go, go over it after we make our decision. Uh, what are we? Yeah, adding? I think we want to. Just grab like three harvesters here to um, to get another starter for next turn. Okay, so what's happening is anytime we activate an effect and he doesn't control the pacifist token, he can summon a token. Yeah. And every time he summons he a gets... normal monster, he gets a search. Okay, so he gets a search now, and I think. Well, we um, can't ash okay. it, and then he can't do anything while he controls the token. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah, that, I think that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. But he has cards because he can use from his I hand. Think, I'm not, I, I, I don't really know the trap cards that they play, but I think there's like one that uh, pops a monster or something, or pops a card. Pops a card if he oh, controls yeah. a vanilla monster and the the field spell. So if he doesn't have yeah. it already, um, then we actually accomplish something by ashing that. There's not a lot of things to ash in this deck. So if we think there's a chance he doesn't have it already, then it was worth doing. All right. So, what should we do? Okay, this is interest. This is this is really interesting. We we can now get basically into our. I'm thinking maybe we could should start with the redeployment, and grab fortress and citadel. I imagine we don't need a Nibiru in this matchup. Yeah, we don't need the Nibiru anymore. Well, okay, half yeah. the job is done. Oh, that's not bad, actually. So, let's see. Yeah, we normally summon the Harvester now. 
So the other trap card he plays can negate a card effect and reduce its attack by a thousand. Um. Okay, that's that's this one. Yeah. No, we can't do anything about that, I guess. Hmm. So we should use all of our effects before we clear his token, right? Or else he just won't get another token. The goal is to never activate a card effect while he control while he doesn't control a token, because then he won't summon another okay. one. So we want to keep it there okay, gotcha. until we're ready. Gotcha. So, um, can you show me the graveyard and see how many Earth Machines we have right now? Goliath, we have one and drill and brutal three. desert. Okay. So we can make another Goliath first of all. Then we can go into the the ancient gear, the ancient gear link. Um, use its effect. And now we want to grab Trencher, because Trencher can revive Harvester next turn, so that we can go back into our engine. Yep, Trencher, exactly that one. So at this point... Oh, that's difficult. I mean... Just so the audience we can knows. use the ancient gear link. I, I don't know if it's worth it, like clearing this token, but uh, it's not actually. It actually, having a monster bigger than the token uh, would allow him to crash it, which puts us in like an awkward position. We might be better just passing here if we don't care about what happens to Ballista. So what we could, what I would do now, I don't know how good it is to beat the token, but we can use uh, ancient gear Ballista to reduce the token to zero, um, and then we can tribute the the harvester. Uh, the trencher from hand, make another Goliath, and then run with the Goliath over the token. This would leave him with no token, but um, I don't know how good that is to beat the token. We probably should and avoid we... beating the token if we can put it off. Because we're not on a okay, real then... clock, we have 8,000 life Yeah, points. maybe then we should just put the, the summon the trencher and death because it's bigger than the token. Yeah, defense is specifically what's useful here. Yeah, and then um, we could use the trap card right now um, to draw an additional card, like put back our link monsters, draw an additional card, but um, maybe we should do it. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's just do it now. Let's fire it off. Maybe okay. we draw into something good. Because usually we uh, we want to use the trap card to recycle our banished infinitrex because we only play like low, co not many copies of the level 5 ones. Um, Oh, schedule is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So and now we could actually make Goliath. So next turn he he runs over the Goliath, and we have um we could use schedule. Yeah, I was thinking like, hmm. Now we kind of want our monster to die. Yeah, now we want our monster to die exactly. Okay, um, I would wait on the trencher because next turn we get more value from it. Just so everyone knows, this is the second time we're recording this video, and it's not because we did anything wrong last time, it's because I hadn't read all the Infinitrack cards thoroughly, so I didn't know what we were doing at any point, and I took the time to read them this time. So now okay, I know what we're perfect. doing. Perfect. So he... <laughs> so... He killed our Goliath. Now... Should we use the, the, the schedule and end phase? This was... yeah. I guess we have to. Yeah, let's do it. Well, it'll gain us access to some other cards that Orc can waste an Ash or something. Also, he might have said yeah, another judgment. Okay, we can... If we go for Citadel, Citadel counters his trap card, the one that pops, because Citadel will just, like, trigger when he pops one of our cards. So I think let's go for Citadel and... Um, and another couple... I mean, we can only do Harvester, yeah. Yeah, for a lot of decks, like, a lot of decks have problems, like, dealing with Citadel, so it's good that we have access to it now. Oh yeah, Overdrive is really good. Okay. So, first we could... We should probably try to clear his field spell, right? 
If we can, yeah. If we can, right. Okay, then let's um. Let's go for Goliath first. I would say. You. Use the uh, trencher and grave to bring back the harvester and search another dozer. Um. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is the one that pops, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a good call from him. I mean, because um, if he would do it later, we w he would just like trigger the citadel. Okay. Then let's use har uh, tr uh, trencher to uh, revive the harvester. Okay, what's that doing? It negates anything if you control a normal monster. Okay, then uh, let's just normal the box this way we get it out of our hand. Um, if we want to, we could now crash the box um, and summon the citadel. Or we could go into knuckle, crash the knuckle and summon the... No. Yeah, maybe that's the play. Go into knuckle, crash the knuckle, summon the citadel. And then we can revive the knuckle by, uh... oh no, we shouldn't probably use an effect after we went over the token, so... Yeah, we might want to attack now and may... Yeah, once we get rid of the token, we don't want to do anything. He'll be on a very short clock if we just stick Citadel on the board. Okay, okay, but I would still go for go for knuckle first. And then crash the knuckle. Um, and we trigger the citadel, and maybe we don't want to um, go over the token. This way, we can revive the the. Um... Oh, let's do it in the tech position. Well, then he can crash. Um, so, what do we need to revive the the anger knuckle for the a later turn? Knuckle. So basically, if we if we if we if we go over the token, he he would get another one when we revive the anger knuckle. So, or we just like go over the token and keep the anger knuckle in grave, and we have it for next turn. Well, if we kill it, he's on a clock where he can only take one hit. He has to draw a monster in a deck that doesn't really play any. We might be better off yeah. just attacking and attacking yeah. again. I agree. I agree. Let's just cr uh, go over it. Because this could be the end of the game, technically. Because what if he draws another ten ye counter trap? He's not doing anything. Yes. Yeah. All right, and that's it. We are pretty well off, like, especially Overdrive can always give us engine access again. He's probably praying for us to activate something. So if we just yeah. attack... Let's just go back to face and try to finish him off. Yup. Alright, well, these are yeah, useless. Good call, good call. Uh, yeah, the nips are useless. Um, I guess the called by seems pretty useless as well. I mean, we saw Gamma, but we can't call by that. Um, then let's put the schedules in there, amazing against any control decks. Um, yeah, then the Duster and the th uh, three Twin Twister. And I guess that's it, like the rest is... Uh, I feel like the Twins aren't going to be useful. I mean the Torrential. Yeah, the Torrentials seem pretty useless. Yeah, okay, let's take out the Torrential. Yeah, that's that's we should be good now. Um, well, we need to put in oh. one more card. Yeah, I would either either one called by or one torrential. Well, he could have hand traps. We have no idea. Yeah, exactly. All right. I'm wondering if he's if he's like playing the 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 vanilla one, the actually the, the big spiral, but then doesn't seem like it. Holy, okay, this this complicates things. That's a hell of a card. Well, his deck's not going to apply pressure, so we don't have to worry. We can literally just pass until the next turn. Yeah. That's probably the move. I mean, he can have judgment at best, so... Oh, well, that helps. Um, should, we, should we activate it? Because um, we would have to banish the card that we discard. No, we should wait another turn. He's, He'll be dead yeah. as soon as we get to our next turn. Right? Yeah, okay, let's just pass. Yeah, his deck isn't going to apply any pressure. Well, he has no monsters. At best, he yeah. has Fossil Dig for the dinosaurs they play sometimes. Well, yeah. that's a good draw. <laughs> we could have set this trap trick because um, the trap actually makes like playing through disruptions a lot easier. Yeah. But maybe next time. No, you're right. That was my fault. I apologize. All right. So that's going to get his engine online. 
It also would have given us a reason to set the twin, because we could have uh, uh, twinned the tr the field spell. Okay, so how much damage can he go for? Um, That's it. Uh, he can't get a token. He can't get a token by himself. No, he can't. And he can't activate the card if we get rid of the field spell. So, unless he sets it. Which he did, so... Alright, now we can do whatever we want. Nice. Um, I guess we clean his... Uh his stuff first. So we want to discard the box, it's so useless right now in our hand. You always want to get the box to the grave because this way we can recycle it with the trap or with um, Now, Tunnelo. if we target the field spell, he might negate with like a judgment, then there will be two cards to target. Where if we target the back row, he might let that resolve to let the uh, pacifist resolve. So I think we should target the yeah, pacifist okay. in one of the sets. Yeah. Sounds Sounds good. Okay. I mean, even if he has Judgment, we will have the second twin. Because, well, okay. he had Judgment, didn't uh, yeah. use it. Um, oh, interesting. Interesting. Just to um, verify if yeah. he can use his searched cards, if he set one. If all monsters you control non effect minimum of one, target one effect monster. Okay. If so, he's on negate. so if he has set the popper or the negator here, he can use those. I don't know how much we care about that. Yeah. I mean, I would uh, just use the twin twister, the second one, and discard the redeployment because we have it already. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice guess. Okay, uh, yeah, this would have got him into Mystic Mind, which would have been a huge I mean, problem. I mean, if we just twinned it when he summoned, when he used it, it wouldn't have made a difference. We... Yeah. Alright. Okay, then let's uh, let's start with the schedule. We can only use it now as long as he is, like, more monsters. Um, let's go for Trentra. For Trencher and Harvester. Oh, I wish we would have the Photon Lord right now, then we could bait out Nip early, but we don't have it right now in the deck. Okay, I wouldn't let's put turn him on both there. in. Let's turn both into um into Goliaths. Keep in mind we threw and in lots. Yeah, and then let's go into Ah, oh, we can't go for the Ancient Gear um, box. Uh, we have Box and Grave, I forgot. Um, so then let's go into the, mm, into the Anger Knuckle. So getting Anger Knuckle before your fifth summon is always good, because this way after Nip you could always just, uh, bring back the Anger Knuckle and then maybe you have a Dozer in hand and con can continue your play. So now we're gonna revive the, revive the Harvester. Get the brutal dozer. I'm thinking right now. Um, so we could go for a rank nine play if we search fortress of of redeployment. Um, we could also go for a dozer play first, but then we can't go for. I mean, VFD doesn't do anything anyway. Blavnir banishing a card from the hand is also not super strong. Yeah, I would probably just uh, just go for a dozer play right now. Yep. Which one? Yeah, yeah tribute the the harvest. Uh, yeah, tribute the harvester. Tunnel. Okay, it's it's lagging right now. No Can't problem. See. Yeah, tunnel. tunnel at this point, we want to recycle the box. This way, we can still go for the the ancient. Uh, Okay, let's go into River Stormer. Okay, what should we search? Uh, we can search... We can search the Bullet Train, just uh, to recycle things. Okay, we have to hurry a little bit up. Our time is low. Um, then... Turn this into a Goliath, yes. I think we can already get the recycle after we use Stormer. Let's use Stormer. 
And which one do I tribute? Yep. Uh, tribute the ooh, tribute the Goliath. It's safer. And don't use Goliath effect. Oh dang, we have to hurry up. No problem. Don't use its effect. Then re recycle all of them with Tunneler. All three Goliath. And the box. And the, the box for sure. And then um, also take. Let's take the Harvester. I want to get back a dozer in the end phase with with bullet train. I don't think we can push for a game this time. Of course. Oh shit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's discard the box again and just grab. Discard the box with redeployment and grab uh, fortress and citadel. Yup. We can discard the. Yeah. Use this. Discard the. The citadel, I guess. Yes. Let's get the citadel. Okay, special summon uh, the Goliath. Special summon Goliath. Special summon the bullet train and go into battle phase and crash the Goliath. Which and one am I crashing with? I'm game. sorry. Crash the Goliath? Yeah, crash the Goliath. That'll trigger Maybe the that's citadel. Game. That will trigger Citadel. Yup. And we just keep attacking. Yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. I don't know, is this game? Let me call it. Well, we're low on time, so it's worth just trying. I think it is. Okay, if not, try to set the trap trick and the... I think it's exactly game. Yep. And we'll take it. Woo! Clean. I'll, nice. I'll increase the timer on the next one just to, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, in case. Yeah, this tag is like, oh my god. Like we, Sometimes opponents make like for taking like ages, but... I mean, uh, we played pretty quickly, quickly I'd say. Um, and it still took yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah, it's just the, the... There's so many like small steps with, okay, filling up the grave with Goliaths and, uh, and also like structuring the place correctly. It takes always so long. All right, let's get into another game. All right, waiting for game two. We've upped the timer from five, uh, 300 seconds to 500 seconds. 300 doesn't like red flag for me, but I would be concerned if someone had like a timer at like 1200 seconds or something crazy. You ever see people like purposely like host games with like 60 seconds? Like you have to make your plays in a minute. It pretty much says you can't play combo. It's super annoying. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes, I, sometimes I join them by by accident. I join them because it's yeah. funny. It's like, wow, can I play fast enough? personal challenge it's actually pretty hard like i usually host on what is it 240 because that's that was the requirement for the last um um MBT what is tournament? It, chalice time tournament yeah. yeah and this was hard like i think once in the tournament i had to pass because i had no no time left which was kind of ridiculous like 240 is sometimes really difficult with this deck um, in one of the MBT tournaments, um, I think there's like a difference with the way the timer works on the EU versus the TCG ser on the NA server, where one of them gives yeah, you more okay. time if you keep play making plays, and that's the EU server. So my opponent oh, insisted, right. insisted that they play on the North America server because their internet was like a potato, and that it probably wouldn't uh, connect to an EU server. So I said, if we disconnect because of time or we have a time issue, we are restarting the match on the EU server. And then we, of course, run out of time because it's a North American server with the problem I just said was going to happen. And then he tries yeah. to, like, talk himself into a free game win. Even though we have wow. tech, we have message history that literally says, this is going to be the problem. It happened, and it was super annoying. Yeah, That's super, that's super nice to know. that I, I didn't know this was the EU thing. Um, um, yeah, I was wondering. Sometimes it resets the time every time you make a move. Um, sometimes it didn't. Well, it doesn't reset it. It just gives you a little more time. Because, you know, a slow play warning is what happens when you're literally doing nothing. So by giving you more time every time you make a move, you're indicating you haven't really played slow yet. Yeah. And I'm not sure exactly how they do it. They might have changed it even. Like, it's an experimental timer. They just put it on certain servers and not others. So if you want it to deal with the experiment, you can be in it. Or you can ignore it. Oh, nice, we got a match on our hands. Looks like it. So, one named like, player. Uh, let's hope we see like uh, some like combo or something so we can show like a little. Uh, what's with drawing the box? I think we drew the box almost every game so far. That is correct. Um, 
That doesn't mean we can't do anything okay. with it. No, yeah, we can we can still come. It's just like a little more difficult. Maybe I make a misplay here. This uh, okay. Let's just start with the with the metal cruncher, and let's hope we get Derek Crane. This would be insane because um, then we can make a Dora early. Um, let's get the Derek Crane. Um, fortress, and since we have the bullet in hand, mm, that's difficult. Let's choose the let's choose the tunneler actually, or the yeah let's choose the tunneler. Uh, no, it's the other one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, this, is oh, this one, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a little mixed up. Right. Their names are very similar. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, then we can uh, start. Then we uh, use the bullet train. Uh, no, I mean, uh, sorry, sorry. Use the bulldozer, uh, brutal dozer. Uh, hopefully, oh, this matter. being on the board early doesn't make a difference. Yeah, let's hope he, we, he doesn't have a nip. <laughs> Actually, it's good because after nip, after the nip token drops, we the we can't use the bullet train anymore. Um, okay, I need to think for a second. Sure. What do we? What should we get here? Probably we should have taken the trencher earlier on. Then we could have taken harvester here and revived the harvest and searched the tunnel anyway. But we can also. Um, No, let's just take the trencher. Okay, I would... Yeah, let's go into Stormer. Search the Dairy Crane. This gives us the, the rank 10 play. Uh, we're locked into Earth Machines from Dozer, right? Exactly. Uh, just I'm just thinking right now. We need a way to get the box out of hand, or we, because anyway, we want always want to get box in the grave in order to trigger it either in the end phase with a bullet train, or to recycle it with tunneler and then search it again with ancient gear. So anyway, let's make a Goliath first, and let's get some Goliath in the grave. We have to fuel the tunneler at one point. So um, let's uh, let's get uh, the tunnel line. The, uh, uh, let's oh whoops special the tunnel. Should I have not brought that out? I uh, yeah, this plays into nib pretty hard. Oops. I think we'll um, be dealing with nib no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's tribute the the Goliath for the tunnel. Let's make another another one of the link ones. You, let's go into the train link with the with the into yeah into Enganaku with um, the bullet train and the and the Goliath. So now we could yeah now we can now we can get back the. Now we can use the, the train link to discard the box and get it in the grave and revive the the bullet train. Okay, let's just make Super Dora here. Super. And put it in the most right zone. Uh, too, or... late. <laughs> too late. Too late. It's I mean, we can just like make it unaffected by Geo. So now let's check the grave and see what we can, what we have to cycle back right now. If we have five, okay, we have two Goliaths. We should have probably went for a third one. One of these. Honestly, I would leave the box and just for the end phase and with this setup. Um, so tunneler. Then let's use. No, let's use tunneler right now. Not the tr the trencher. We can actually leave for next turn. Uh, what yep. else? And, and okay, we have to take one more card. Uh, yeah, now we, now we, now I messed up because we could have had more and more Goliath if we revived the River Stormer. But I guess we will just take. Um, we will just take the River, uh, the 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 Xyz. 
Oh, we have to do one more. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, no, then... Yeah, let's take the... Let's take the doze as well, then. Yeah, this was probably not played optimally. Not bad, not bad. This is a very good draw overdrive. Okay, let's just set the overdrive. Um, detach um, the in the end phase. You want to detach? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And this way we can trigger the box and basically get a rank eight play for next turn, like a ding play, or um, we can also like it's pretty flexible, since we can also just get the. Use use the level four to summon harvester if we want to. Uh, this guy, right? Anchor drill. Exactly. So now we're in a pretty good spot because if the train link dies, um, we can discard the trencher and then we ca can bring back the trencher with the with the uh, uh, I mean the harvester. We can bring it back with the trencher that we left in the grave. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's chain. Um, Let's go chain link one. Um, no, chain link one, the, the train link. Discarding the box. Okay. And then chain link two, let's use the, the overdrive on the train link. And bring up the citadel. Yeah, he might want to ash that, but. Well, he didn't. That's good for us. All right, so now if our okay. bullet train dies, we get the ancient gearbox back in the end phase, and we get another search. Yeah, unfortunately, we only have one trencher left as a search, um, but that's fine. Okay, no, this special's from hand, and we can just wait until he uses its effect. Do like, we want to no even let him threat. special from hand? I mean, we could just pop it with Derek Crane. No, or we can just blow all the cards that he specials with um, Citadel. I would. I mean, this gets rid of the most resources, and we and we get. Oh, okay. Let's uh, see. Does this get banished? Um, okay, banish it when it leaves the field. Maybe we should just like use Citadel here after he summons and pop our own bullet train. The citadel destroy itself, or it's just you're destroying your opponent's monsters, really, right? Yeah, and we destroy the monster that we target. And there's a few cool interactions in this deck. So, for example, if you target the rank 10 that we have, and while it's unaffected, um, it doesn't get destroyed, and we only destroy the opponent's monster. If we pop our own bullet train, we can basically trigger it in the end phase. And if we pop a monster that uh, the link 1 is attached to, then it doesn't get destroyed um, either. Okay, now we use the bullet train again, and then we, I guess we can grab back the box. And the box is gonna get us the last target that we have. We only play four box targets um, right now. Should we, um, but the should we door out a pop thing? Um, I think Derek, uh, yeah, we could pop, but actually I think it's more valuable to use it to make it unaffected next turn. So we can protect anything with it next turn. Okay. Okay, um, so... No, let's, let's wait, well, let's wait on everything. Let's try to go for Dingirzu, this protects us from anything. Really, anything, yeah. So summon... Yeah. Normal hey. summon this, special the box, and this forces out TT early, and we and and this forces needle sealing and TT early. So this will make them both level eight. So it adds their levels and makes them both copy that level. Overlay exactly. for ding. Yup. So. The cool thing is Ding could also attach like the one that draws us two cards but uh, and then make a four material Zeus but at this point we are already so far ahead that I would just try to push for game. So send so the let's card just to grave. Send... 
Yeah, let's just send. Let's use the send effect. And then we can Derek Rain whatever's left. So if he has anything impactful, he would need to chain it. But I mean, we are already protected from card effects by Ding, and we have other protection from the rank 10. So I think most traps really don't do anything. Ice Dragon Prison would be still pretty good here, but... Okay, well, what is that? I think it's a quick XE of the Utopia. Holy. Holy. Um, I mean, we already have game on board. I don't think we need to uh, play into anything else. Like, we have a lot of plays right now, but... Um, like, we could discard the Harvester that we have in hand, and then we can revive it with the, with the Trencher that we have in the Grave to get another Dozer, and then we go into the Dozer line again. And we can also recycle our Banished Tunneler, but... Actually, I would just like push for game at this point. Like, it's not worth committing into any in, into Nib into Nibiru. Like, well, the only thing I was considering doing is maybe just trying to Derek Crane to pop the last card, just because. Well, we yeah, can make we that can, unaffected. Now we chain, chain it, and and now we protect the Citadel. Like, yeah, we chain this, and we protect the Citadel that he targeted. And that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Book of Moon. I mean, it's a cool card. Book of Moon in his Utopic deck. Played yeah, on the EU I, I competitive really, server. I really like <laughs> Moon, uh, last, like uh, when when Zodiac started to get popular, it was so good. Um, all right. So what is he, what is he even trying to do? He's probably wants to go first and what is he, I mean, we can always uh, side in the schedule. It's like such a safe bet and the droplets. So, well, I put him on Utopic Zexel. Yeah. So let's side in droplets that we have a counter to, to that. Um, Skullmeister can negate the one that he used in the grave right now, but I don't know how relevant that is. I don't think it's relevant. And yet, uh, we saw some back row like Book of Moon, so we could side and twin and uh, and the and the harpies feather dust as well. Well, we don't know if this and is live the... yet. What? We don't know how live Droplet will be here. Yeah, I mean, if he goes for Zexel, we need Droplet. Well, Torrential could potentially accomplish a similar goal. Yeah, probably. Okay. Then, um, I guess we would take out the nips. I don't know how much he special summons. We didn't see so many extenders. Um, then the Ash. I don't know, Ash. Is, is it even relevant against that matchup? Well... Yeah, okay, let's... Well, Oops. he made it easy for us. He doesn't he like side decking. <laughs> In this situation, I would also like to take out some engine cards going second, um, like uh, for example, one brutal dozer, maybe one metal cruncher, and and the dairy crane also sometimes. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna have to start one more match. All right, going for match three. Uh, our opponent did not want to play with us. They didn't like our deck. Yeah, well, I think it was a fine showcase anyway. Like. We were able to deal with the box that we drew, and this was pretty good. But I think we didn't. <laughs> that. Only like, and it's like actually like dealing with the box and playing it out perfectly is like uh, the hardest really part. <laughs> it's, it's really the hardest part of the deck because m you need to structure all your plays totally differently. Um, but at least it's not like a. Hard Garnet, where you draw Garnet plus, plus Brilliant Fusion, you just can't resolve the Brilliant Fusion. Like, it's not, like, with Box, you can at least, like, still do your plays. Okay. Witchcraft. No, Magistus. Oh, what is it? Oh, Magistus, I can't, I can't really see it right. That's alright. Um, can I make this bigger here? The first time a Magistus equipped with an equip card would be to strip a battle or card effect battle each turn. It's not. This card lets him special level four spellcaster from hand. So now that this is equipped, something happens. 
Oh, this deck looks cool. It looks really cool. I like. Also, they got a new Xyz, and I, I don't know. I never played it, but it looks really strong. The new Xyz. This is too many cards it's to read at once. This always leads to a part of the video where I wind up like not doing anything because. Uh... Okay, I know. I know what this card does. Do you? Do you know what this card does? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with this ferocious dragon with a deadly attack or this? Um... Okay, now the TT is so bad. We should. Yeah, in this case, we would have wanted uh, Ice Dragon Prisoner as our secondary trap trick target, but I mean. Well, odds are we're not playing through this. Yeah. Um. Actually, I think we we if this is the only negate, we can beat it. Let's assume the it is, because I assume their deck the is bad. The box is just super annoying, but let's try baiting it. Uh, let's just fire off redeployment and discard. Discard the box. At least it's a free discard. All right, now we probably can't beat it because that was not the only negate. <laughs> I guess we can make Zeus. We can normal summon. Oh, damn. Yeah, if he negates the harvester, we lose. We have to try, right? There's no other play. Yeah, we have to try. Okay, let's 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 use harvester. And we can now surrender. Yeah, we can get one. Um, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't have game yet. Well, he's got that in... Oh, he threw away the Endymion. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Because if our next play is going to be the exact same play as before, how are we supposed to win? Yeah, if we, if we draw into the schedule, we, we still have a chance to win. If we draw into maybe another redeployment... Ah, oh, but the back row is like worrying me. Oh, he has no hand. That. He has no hand. He has no hand. Like he just cut off his dragoon. His back row must be super nice. Well, we'll okay. Have to find out. That's interesting. I would just uh. Should we get those up? Mm. I I'm I'm tempted to go for the for the Zeus play. Uh, let's just see if Harvester resolves. Let's normal normal norm summon Harvester. Okay. Called by. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> yeah, we can. That's unfortunate. All right. Um. Oh, so 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 bad that we drew the box right now. Um. Let's use redeployment. And now we have to have to discard it. Yeah. Okay, Citadel and Fortress. Hmm. And yeah, we can turn this into a Goliath. And it really doesn't do much. Oh, maybe this was a mistake. I feel like there's a scenario. Well, oh, this is good for us because now he doesn't have game. No, he has game. Well, we yeah. can torrential, so we don't have a guy, but that wouldn't do much. Yeah, I think no, we lose. Do I think we, I think we lose here anyway because even if we if we summon the citadel, he would just pop it anyway. That's okay. We'll just go first. <laughs> um yes okay um so i didn't even count did he commit into nibiru range bef before he summoned dragoon or was it on his fifth summon i want to say he did commit into nibiru range but i don't think he needed to yeah okay so uh, the trap cards uh, let's leave all of them in um I guess we don't really need to side in anything. All right. Well, we could side these out for for droplet or for something. So if he does get dragoon, mm -hmm. we can do something about it. 
Mm, but sometimes, you know, I, I sometimes like against these type of control decks, I like to keep some dro uh, of these in because they punish Gamma so hard. It's literally the Gamma and you have schedule and you just make VFD after Gamma. Right. And uh, yeah, I would leave them in because if you don't open a starter, this is like the only way you can have. It's another way to get a starter. All right. So just stick. Well, we haven't seen any hand yeah. traps. We could maybe cut called by for Feather Duster. He at least played a bunch of back row. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, sounds good. Ah. Cool. Oh, jeez, let's do another one. Yeah, last time, last time. They don't know why we're taking so long to side deck. By the way, what are, what are the extra rules that you have on the side? Huh? Oh, the what TCG the SEGOC. Uh, simultaneous effects go on chain. They added it in as an option to play under. Oh, nice. It's like, we actually use this with the um, Dairy Crane, I think. Yeah, this is a real oh. Yu-Gi-Oh thing. There's no reason we shouldn't play that if we can. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we got too much Infinitrex stuff, but it's fine. Um, let's normal summon the Harvester. Search the Dozer. And if that doesn't work... Oh, that's good. That's really good, because we have the Dozer anyway, so he basically um, just threw his Imperm away. Uh, let's use heavy forward and get and grab the dozer. And if he negates that, <laughs> just kidding. If he negates that, we we just have one interruption. That's that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that set the trap trick. Unfortunately, we drew, hard drew into the citadel. Happens. Um, let's go into Goliath. But you know what we didn't draw. Uh, yeah. We so didn't draw a box. At least we have another heavy forward for next turn to go into uh, our engine again. We didn't draw the box. Aren't you excited? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> we might have to do a really awkward move and summon the Citadel from hand. Oh, wow. Huh. Holy, this deck still exists. That's crazy. Okay, what does it do? He's going to destroy us and look at the top card of our deck, which. I mean, I don't mind knowing the top card of our deck. Oh shit. He's gonna destroy the monster. If he calls the top card correctly. he He's declared that we have a monster on top of our deck. So since we don't know, okay. we might as well let it resolve. If he destroys this, yeah, that doesn't we, matter. If we trap trick here, we have like one less trap, two less trap in deck, and he has a higher chance of, <laughs> of, well, of hitting the right he's probably card. gonna hit it anyway. And that doesn't do oh, much. Shit. We should do it when he calls yeah, but... now, because now he's calling monster. So we have to we do it now. He might miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get the let's get the TT, I guess. So his odds of hitting are high, because we have a high monster count. But oh, he hit two times in a row. That's good. Yeah, but now we torrential these, and his play might be over. Holy! Why is he targeting that? Uh, is it worth pop? Uh, is it worth doing this now, like using TT here? Yeah. Well, what's um, he gonna do otherwise? Is he gonna go into the uh, the link and then make the same this. call? Do we want him to even get the he's link got... in the graveyard? Because then he could revive the link. Now he'd need to get two monsters. Yeah. Okay. Let's just TT here. I, I'm not super familiar. I didn't play in Spyro format, so I, I don't even know. Like, you I don't want the, to. The... You don't want to play in that format. Uh -oh. Yeah. Okay. This is good is for this, us. Uh, this is a still a dragoon, no? Because can the trap can't the trap revive something from the grave? It can. Um, well, you've just proven that he does play dragoon. Because otherwise, why would he be playing dark magician? Okay, he must play two dark magician. That's insane. Or he added that card and it was stupid. He should have never done that. I think he wasn't supposed to do that. I mean, he can still fuse from the hand. Yeah, but that defeats the purpose of adding it. Yeah. I guess he right. can't draw it if he has it in hand. Okay. So if I he mean, makes Dragoon, yeah, he has no card to discard. Because the Dark Magician's right. in his hand. Well, I think we're good anyway. We're good anyway. Unless he plays and two Dark Magician. Just... Worst case scenario, we would crash the fortress. Uh, we would crash a monster to bring back the citadel and then crash the citadel into the dragoon, but we probably have a better play. Okay, let's draw a box for turn. 
I'm calling it now. <laughs> no. Okay, it's another harvester. Um, I'm thinking let's go heavy forward into anchor drill because um, we don't need to fear any hand traps. Anchor drill is the level four. Yeah, just as, it's a one of, so it's harder to find. <laughs> And now we go anchor drill into harvester and then harvester search our boy like brutal dozer and then and then we good from there like we have a rank nine place since um the the anchor drill uh, can manipulate level fives and make uh, and go for the rank nine okay let's use a uh, boot let's make one goliath first with the anchor drill nope with the harvester. Dozer? Yep. Using the Goliath? Uh, Goliath, exactly. And then we special special the trencher from deck. River Stormer? Yeah, we can go into River Stormer. I'm just trying to make sure I get the sequence down, because that was the problem last time. I couldn't figure out what I was doing. So we want to get this Citadel out of her hand, because by crashing we can always summon it. So um, I'm thinking if we want to grab the Fortress, this would be one way, or um, Anger Knuckle is another way. I'm, I'm still like, um, I still have to decide on that. Mm. Okay, let's let's use River Stormer. And grab the I guess we can grab the fortress. Doesn't matter yeah, where it so... goes, right? Yeah, let's add it to hand. I'm thinking if we can make it game somehow right now. Okay, let, let's turn. We also have a... Oh, that's nice. We we actually can turn um, one into Goliath, one of them into Goliath, go into the Ancient Gear Link and get the box and the tunneler. Okay, cool. And now we can revive the... Revive the harvester. First use the box, then revive the harvester. Use the trencher so to revive harvester? Uh, yeah, with the trencher. We're gonna revive the harvester with trencher. And now we have a rank 9 play with the fortress. So we can discard the tunneler. With fortress, we can discard the tunneler and go for rank 9. Okay, now we're gonna use the uh, harvester to target the uh, the fortress. They both become level nine. They both become level nine. Make infinite yeah, record slicer. To... Earth slicer. Yeah, we have to. We have to. Yeah, let's go for earth slicer. Let's Magic just number. detach the detach the one um, fortress to pop his uh, the snake. Uh, now we can use Fortress to discard the the Citadel. And now we could crash one of our monsters in battle phase. Uh, we could also just like try to draw cards first. Maybe we can maybe we can even push for game if we draw into something good. Yeah, now we're in battle phase. We could have uh, crashed one, bring out the Citadel, and then we could have um, just attacked over the Dragoon with the Earth Slicer. Thirty-one hundred is one. a perfect number. Yeah, one little extra attack and always makes it worth it. All right. Um, so he probably wants to go first, I guess, or maybe it's a going second build with all of the hand traps. I have no idea. Me neither. I don't know what they do now that they don't have a master plan. They don't have a master plan anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I would play the three schedules. Um, let's put in the droplets because we know he's on Dragoon. Um, 
hand traps Sakuri, that's pretty bad. Um, is Drawl was good against them, but now without Master Plan, I don't know how much they still search. Maybe we should pull the Ash just to reduce our monster count a little bit, just so he doesn't call it all right all the time. Yeah, I would actually, I would actually remove the traps to be honest. Remove the traps. I mean, remove. Uh, no, no, yeah. Um, like that. Yeah, this seems reasonable because because I mean, TT is so bad going second if he puts Dragoon up. All right. Um. Mm. What else do we put in? And now we could side in, like, we could bring in, like, the Skullmeisters or the... Like, this would be Hardcore going second now. The like, Meister can the stop his trap card in his graveyard from bringing his guys back. That's amazing. Maybe we should even play third one and take out one, one Brutal Dozer. All right, this looks good. Let's go. Yeah, looks good too. Or, or actually, let's... Ah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We have the call by in. I didn't see that, but it's well, fine. We can also call by whichever um, spiral monster is left in the graveyard. Oh, we're going first. Yeah. Holy. Okay. So that's a thing. <laughs> Actually, this is not so bad because even if he stops us, we have the schedule and the droplets. So yeah, let's just try to try to do it. Let's go cruncher, normal cruncher. Um, use cruncher. Do we no, want to chain no, block we, it with Duracrane? We can. <laughs> we we could, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, but that's because what that new then, TCG rulings in uh, Edo Pro is for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, maybe we want to chain block the Brutal Dozer. Uh, what are we getting? Dozer? Yeah, three Brutal Dozer, yeah. I think we sided one out. Oh no, okay, yeah, right, we sided one out. Then we get uh, Brutal Dozer, okay, and the and the train, because if we get the train, then we can still just make a rank 10 play, right? Well, we got the Dozer. Oh. Hell yeah. Then we go Dozer. Now we might think about chain blocking. Then we got chaining one Dozer, I guess chaining two Dairy Crane. It's, this is good against... Ash, Imperm, which we saw already, both of them, but it's bad against Nip, obviously. Oh, it's a little worse against Nip. Trencher? And let's get the Trencher, yeah. So as long as we don't have Box in hand, we always want to get the Trencher. Then the, uh, we go for Stormer. Stormer can search the second train. Okay, he seems to have nip because this was the five, fifth summon. Fair. Fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can use Trencher. Revive the Brutal Dozer. Uh, go for Goliath. Then we want to use the... the Stormer and Grave. And then we only want to use Goliath to attach it to the Stormer. So now what's the what what do we want to search? Um let's let's get the search. The thing is now like the the biggest problem was not getting nipped is because we have a token and we can't we don't have any way to get rid of it so the, we cannot summon bullet train well we can just search box and search yeah we could also know we i would oh sh this might actually be the move because usually i would search dairy crane here to go into the into the link but we already have used dairy crane so box? Could search another data for next turn. No, yeah, let's let's go for the box actually. I think it's a good idea. And box can search uh, our starter. Or what do we want? Anchor uh, drill, tunnel. Can can you press like F1 and check the grave? Sure. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Um I would actually go for the draw two, to be honest. So let's take the tunnel. Tunneler? Uh, I would uh, put Goliath first. 
Like check, let's yeah yeah we have two. That's perfect. Let's uh okay. And uh, now I'll tribute the Goliath and then go for a tunnel and then summon another Goliath and then we have like plenty of earth machines and grave to resolve the tunnel. Alright, here we go. One Let's two. see what we get. Oh uh, what else? Um What should we leave here? We only get to keep one. Um let's leave I mean I, I would put back Derry Crane and the and the Brutal Dozer. Well, oh actually no, let's let's leave let's leave the no, let's put back the Brutal Dozer. I don't want to draw Metal Cruncher to be honest, because we have a monster on field. So put back the River Stormer? Oh no, okay, let's leave the River Stormer, never mind. We gotta make a choice. It's start. one card we have to keep here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we drew a disruption card. Um, okay, that's good. That's that's pretty good. Um, maybe we want to save it because if we commit more and he pops everything with the. Well, we could um, redeployment discarding box to get fortress and citadel, so that if he kills Goliath, we can get back citadel. I don't know. Mm, yeah, that's the, the the thing is the problem is with Dragoon um, that he, we would take so much damage if we actually commit more to the field. All right, so just set um, the two cards we can use and pass, I guess. Maybe even keep the droplet. Ah, uh, it's a, it's a tough choice because if we set the droplet and he pops it, then we lose our auto Dragoon because he has the he has the level four right that can pop spell and traps. But he'd have to call it. I guess it's worth setting it. I'm sorry, one more time. Yes or no, set. Yeah, let's set both. Let's set both. Set At the, the very droplet, least, set... they will um, distract from other things. Exactly. And we still have two hand traps, so I think we're good to go. And it's also not bad I if like... he pops this, right? We get a search if we do. Yeah. I also like the to keep the redeployment, because redeployment, getting the last copy of the... We only have play one copy of the trap post siding, and the only way to get it is redeployment. And this is the only way to reset our infinite track engine, and we're almost done with our infinite track engine, since we have a Tunneler banished and one Trencher banished too. Okay. Got some monster. Well, that's a problem. That's a that's a big that's a big ouch. Yeah. Well, negating him doesn't do me anything. The only thing we could do potentially oh. is put cards in our graveyard. Uh, no, no, it's it's fine. I guess he, he just pops it. It is what it is. Maybe he bricked the red eyes fusion. Who knows? Let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, quick fix. Is this something... Well, this is searching a spiral gear. So it's searching like the big red or something like that, right? It's also not once per turn. So if we negate it now, we could just make Link Haribo bring it back by discarding a spiral card. Or discarding a card. As long as he controls a super agent. Okay. I guess it's not worth negating then. At least we, we're just going to have to negate it again, so... Okay, so basically he can... What's he searching? Drone? Oh, he normaled. He could search. We saw him um, playing the level 6, the Dark Magician, so he's probably on Souls. That's what he's searching. Uh, like, oh. we saw him play the... But do we care about Souls? Souls could, like, really put him far ahead if he has, like, more of the traps in the hand than... I just feel like that's I not the right card to stop, but it doesn't feel like there is a right one. Yeah, I guess we want to ash that. I would. Yeah, let's ash that. I mean, can we just? Yeah, souls is also ashable, right? Um, the effect to draw cards, but it doesn't mean he has right, one. Right, but yeah. Yeah, the, right now we just, I hope the Skullmeister carries us through this turn, because um, 
So. All right, all right. It's not looking bad if he uses this right now. I mean, how much damage is that? You 1, take 1,000 from popping the Goliath. If we stop that, he just uses it again. Although, let's let's assume he drew Red Eyes Dark or Dark Magician. If we do negate that, he discards, he searches a new card, then he can discard the card he searches again. Okay, there's no reason to stop. Wait, he can discard infinite times and search infinite times. That card is crazy. Well, it gets banished when it leaves the field this time, so it's not infinite. So there was a right. scenario where he wouldn't have enough cards to negate with... Uh, with Dragoon, if we did negate it, but I think he had one too many cards in hand. Uh, okay. Does he know what's on top of the deck? I think he might. Yep. Yeah, he knows. Well, that'll get him another monster. Oh, yeah, I hand. think he can push for game this turn. Yeah, there's not much we can do, because Dragoon is just going to burn us for anything that he doesn't put on the board, right? Like even if we block, we're taking damage. Hmm. Unless we summon a bunch of monsters. Yeah, I really, really expected to go, um, to go second here. Well, good news. Um, we can side to go first next game. Yes, yes. And the Meister was also like not really doing anything. We should definitely take these out. I mean, we could have used it. It just um. Yeah, right. I guess I was concerned with more with the trap card in the graveyard than I was with the quick fix. Quick fix is at one. It's not the card I'm thinking of yeah. to be like the more problematic card. So it's not useless. But going first, it might be. Yeah. And going first, we probably wouldn't have set the uh, the drop. Well, this guy is good. He's making the spiral deck look really good. Um, he, he at the very least didn't make it look bad. Um. Yeah. But it could be super bricky, because it's always been super bricky. Yeah. It'd be really funny if he activated, like, two more Where Art Thou's, and then he just died in the end phase from, like, uh, Where Art Thou Burn and uh, Verte Burn. If we can only make it through this turn, it would be really nice, because we have the most, uh, the two most powerful spell cuts in the deck, like Redeployment and the, and the Urgent Schedule. But I don't think we will make it. Yeah. It's, all, it's already be game, I think. If he just summons the Dragoon and pops our, both of our monsters, then that's game, no? Well, he could have drawn it's... the Red Eyes Fusion. Like, otherwise, what is he doing? Yeah. Exact, exactly. He's just playing into, into Nibiru at this point. No? Is he gonna do something? Hope. Maybe seeing that first droplet makes him think we have another droplet? Or he took a nap or he disconnected. Oh, there we go. Okay, what? Wait, what? Well, Holy. now that's no Verte Anaconda, so I guess we should definitely be firing this off now. We can't because he has. He it didn't let me respond um, after that result. This is a quick effect. Oh, he controls less monsters. Yeah, but he has, he has less monsters than us, so we can't use it yet. All right. Well, we'll search a level ten train. Uh, he must have drew red eyes fusion. Well, what should we what should okay. we search? Let's think. Do we if we get the citadel now? Then we can search the trap, and the trap can recycle our engine. So this would bring us the most value in the long game. I'm, um... Yeah, let's get the Citadel. I think that's the best choice. Maybe he was counting on us surrendering, so he went into Verte and just kept summoning things to see if we would like stick it out. That's what I would do. Yeah. Because free wins are... Anytime your opponent surrenders, you've won. Yeah, I mean, Verte is a good card even just by the because of the existence of Dragoon, like the the Eldritch list that um, topped the last um, LCS, they were just playing Verta without Dragoon to force out back row. All right, so he set red eyes. <laughs> the the, the hey, and now it's actually looking uh, pretty good for us, I would say. Yeah, this is odd. Now what? 
<laughs> uh, okay. Um, can I can I see the gray for one second? Certainly. We have five cards. There they are. All right. We got uh, basically we only got the stormer. As, as okay. So let's. I'm a little afraid of Ash. So let's start with the heavy forward. But it's better if he. Oh, well, I don't think he has Ash. Yeah, no response on that, so that's cool. Ooh. And yeah, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We just sat through the last 10 minutes of a play from our opponent for them to just quit two seconds later. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, probably, I, I wonder, can you save the replay? Let's see. I think he re he must have had the Red Eyes Fusion in him. Sometimes I'm afraid of trying to save replays with question marks or... Or um, punctuation marks. I feel like they don't like save. All right, let's see. Yeah, that was definitely a weird match. Huh. Okay. Hold yeah. on. New new idea. Let's see. Red eyes. He's drawing it for Earth turn magician. for sure. Did he just forget to do it, or he opted not to? Did he get... Like, there's no point you can't unclick. He, he must have drawn it for turn. And also, he has two Imperms. Why wouldn't he, like... He, he should have, like, used it. Definitely used Imperms early, earlier. Because now, after Dragoon, he just can't... Uh, and, after, and after Nibiru, he just can't use the Imperm anymore. Oh, okay. weird. Weird stuff. Like, he doesn't draw a card at any point in this, does he? No, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, he, he, he literally had game on board. Like, for no reason whatsoever, at no point does he ever verte into Dragoon when he has the option to. Like, why did he choose this direction? This doesn't lead yeah, the this game. Guy, this guy is an enigma. <laughs> this is very bizarre. Maybe he didn't think he can kill the token? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Alright. Maybe he thought he can summon his sleeper and get game that way? That was weird. Alright, so yeah, we'll go back to the deck list and see if there's anything worth discussing. Yeah, were there any cards? Yeah, probably the most of the Exodex stuff we didn't summon. We only went one time for a Ding and one time for a rank 9 play. Um, how often does this guy come up? This guy comes up specifically against Eldritch. Comes almost always up, like every two-cut combo, and even like a, a one-cut redeployment combo when uh, VFD is banned, we can do that. Um, to search Cycle Reader, that's basically the main function. Oh, uh, I was wondering why there's only one Cycle Reader in here. Yeah, so you can do it with with any starter plus any extender in the deck. You can search Cycle Reader. And he can also add back Cycle Reader from the grave. So you can even keep like reusing the Cycle Reader. Uh, and even the Bullet Train can add back Cycle Reader from the grave. So um, once the Cycle Reader is out, you can basically just like reuse it and outgrind your opponent. Super good against Eldritch because you basically, once you have the Cycle Reader, you can basically get rid of both Eldritch the Golden Lord by just like recycling the Psycho Reader. Okay, I didn't know that Bullet Train didn't get back. Uh, I didn't realize it got back any machine. I thought it was Earth Machines. No, actually, Eddie, it's pretty cool. Like, I really like about Earth Machine that, like, so many, it's all different archetypes, but so many of these cards are just generic. Like, Tunneler shuffles back any Earth Machines, Bullet uh, gets back machines, then Citadel triggers if a machine is destroyed, and Stormer actually searches any earth machine in your deck so it feels like one huge archetype yeah i guess they didn't know if they'd ever make enough cards so they left a lot of them open and generic hmm. all right cool um all right i think that's it anything in the extra deck worth talking about i think we could have made several different options but i don't think any of them are worth making at any point um, yeah i would 
online in online tournaments like um i would probably cut the gustav marks like i almost never summoned it like well that's because it's there's really no time. up maybe one in 20 games but in real life like this card is insane you can just make it in time instead of super dora and win yeah it's nice when decks can do that yeah so I used to play like a Burning Abyss Thunder Dragon Orcus thing, and uh, one of the plays was Tor was a um, Neo Space Connector into Aqua Dolphin, and you can burn them for five. But I also cited like, what do you call it, an Air Perfect. Hummingbird, to definitively oh, to gain, gain life points. Yeah, well, yeah, because um, Dolphin can miss. You can also you can search like we like the Earth Machine deck has like a lot more options. Like there's a I think Ruffian Railcar. You can search it up. It's like uh, um, this card burns for five hundred, and you can two, uh, you can summon it in some of the in many of the two card combos. So that it's maybe consider you could consider siding it if you want to take the stack to locals or regionals, and even like some of the ancient gear cards that you can search with the ballista um, burn. Like there's like I think a card that's called anti gear cannon. It burns for five hundred. It tributes itself and burns for 500. So you can literally search this card with box or the ancient gear link and then summon it out with the level four, like later in the combo, and also just burn in time. It's pretty cool. All right. It's nice to know this deck has some more um, free win potential. All right. Cool. So that's, yeah. I think that's going to wrap things up. So everyone, make sure you check out Aerosol TCG's channel for future updates and combos. Uh, yeah, thanks to for hosting me. Yeah, of course. It's a it pleasure nice to have you. And, uh, maybe one day uh, I can come back for another deck. 100%. Uh, matter of fact, if you can name some decks you play so that those in the comments yeah. could uh, tell us what they want to see. Uh, what are some I'm of the other huge, decks you play? I'm a huge uh, Speedroid enthusiast and there's actually support coming. Like We will get a whole Wind Booster pack and there's probably the deck will like... Uh, change a lot this year i hope so and i i already see you saw you did like speed rides already but it's been a it while. was at a time we didn't even have like win or a card turbo so um, it was basically like throwing four cards from your hand just into one crystal wing but it, by now the deck already has like one card combos that can go into one and uh, sometimes even two crystal wings one or two Pretty crystal cool. wings sometimes you get like uh what's that thing called totem the bird Huge for this deck, like Shenzhen being a level nine, that's super easy to, to 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 get into. It's like, like, uh, and also the other virtual world, uh, the the level six synchro, like we can use these in speed droids, and yeah, I really love the deck. And then there's also, um, I guess, um, super heavy samurai as another Earth Machine deck. I don't play it right now because it's um, it's super focused on VFD. It has like one card vfd combos and stuff but um i think it's going to be more fun one uh, once a uh, vfd is banned then i'm definitely picking up the deck uh, again so. all right and these are, yeah these are basically the three decks i'm most enthusiastic about all right well at least we have some options so everybody in the comments let us know if you would like to see any of those decks on the episode of how to play make sure you subscribe to both channels to see when combos go go live on aerosol's channel or if uh we do the how to play on this channel all right well we'll see y'all next time